Today, we're going to take this in a little different direction. Now, I really encourage you to find some event, a 5K run, a 6K run, a half marathon, something that will push you beyond your comfort zone that you can train for. So that when you show up for that event, it's a real celebration of accomplishment. And pick some event that is honoring a cause that's close to your heart. And this verse speaks to taking a soul step with that community of people who are there to celebrate the loved ones or the event or the cause that is in uh, alliance with you. So you feel a sense of community. I look around at all these people, each has their own story to tell. They're here for different reasons, eager to share the tears they've held. I see us reaching over space and time, we all have a need to connect. And though we don't know each other's names, we join hands to pay our respect. Together we will honor those who've survived and those who have not. As we run together to the finish line, we acknowledge the battle spot. Take a soul step with me. Let's walk together side by side. Take a soul step with me. Heaven knows how hard we've tried. Take a soul step with me. Let's share the tears we've cried. Take a soul step with me. They're here walking along our side. Take a soul step with me. Let's run together side by side. Take a soul step with me. Let's finish this event with pride. That brings chills to me. And the reason is that it makes me reflect on all the finish lines that I've crossed. And that supreme honor of doing that. I have a funny story that I'm going to tell before I get into the EFT sequence. And that is that in preparation for my first marathon, I went to Las Vegas with a friend of mine to do a half marathon. And we were kind of at that place in our training. We were right at about the 13th mile. And so we thought this would be a nice way to be inspired. Well, we were wrong. It was one of those dreadful mornings where we were taken out to the middle of the desert and it was windy and it was cold and the wind was so strong that we couldn't even get our, our gate going. And so we just kind of surrendered and not real graciously, I might add. We were kind of moaning the whole way through. But we finally got into the town of Las Vegas and we rounded this corner and we could see the chutes that we were ready to run down. And so we were able to pick up our pace. And so we started running, and, and at the end of a run like that, if you've never done it, the, the, there's chutes that you run through. And we hit those chutes, and all of a sudden there was such a roar of applause, and I was just elated. It's like I could not believe that this group of people were waiting for us and were welcoming us so much. And I had about 10 seconds of that glory. And right about that time, in right at the side of my eye, I saw this, this man from Kenya just sprinting to the finish line. And I realized that the applause was really for the man who was winning the marathon. Now, keep in mind, we started 13 miles closer to the finish line an hour earlier. Because we walked it, remember, I don't even know how long it took us. We finished it. But we were really lagging along. And this man had accomplished twice the distance in an hour shorter. And all the applause was for this man who was winning the marathon. Now, that was such a unique experience for me, and I'll tell you why. Because in the old days, when I would work with my shame, I would have regressed right into that. I would have collapsed into the shameful part of thinking, how could have I even thought they were applauding for me? But instead, I felt so much gratitude because that experience gave me 10 seconds 
of what it feel, would feel like to win a marathon. And I now have that as a point of reference. I cannot tell you how many times when I'm kind of sprinting at the very last last point and, and of my training runs, not just when I am completing an event, but in my training runs, I will remember that. And I have forever recorded that applause and that glory, and it has served me. So you just never know what the event is going to hold for you. I'm going to do the sequence now on inviting you to really show up for events like this and make connection with the other people who are walking along your side. This is going to be more of a meditation. Let's just, let's just infuse it. I am now standing at the start line. I look around at all these people who have trained for this same event, who have showed up, who are here to celebrate this cause. And I joyfully extend my hand. I make my connections. I enjoy the conversations. I share stories about my training, about my loved ones, about my life. These are my comrades. In this moment of time, they are my community. They are the ones with whom I am taking this stole step. Together, we proceed. We complete this goal. We fought, finish this event. We cross that incredible line. The line that we have worked towards all these months. We finish at different times with different emotions for different reasons. But for this short time, we've been a community. We've taken a soul step one by one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath and relish that visual, that intention, that affirmation. And get ready to be inspired to sign up for something in verse 6 tomorrow. Thank you.